Hi everybody, Joe here from Shutterspeak Photography. Very nice to see your smiling faces again here on YouTube. So, Skylum has kind of surprised everybody with the new product announcement. Um, it is the announcement of Luminar Neo. Luminar Neo is a new image editing program that is in production and there are some pre-sale prices on it and we do have a few details as to what the product entails, who it's made for and what it is. And we'll get to those in a minute, but before we get started, I'd just like to say thank you for watching. I appreciate you. Thank you for being here. And if anything in this video helps you out, please help me out by hitting the subscribe button and ring the bell so you get notified of future updates on this channel. I appreciate it and it's something that will make me smile and best of all, you can do it for me and it's free. So thank you in advance for subscribing. Now, moving on, let's talk about Skylum's new creative image editor, Luminar Neo. So I have in my hands the press release so Skylum says, Skylum has revealed Luminar Neo, a creative image editor which empowers visual storytellers to bring their boldest ideas to life. Um, I'll skip a little bit of the, the marketing speak here and I'll get right to what this is exactly. It's the latest member of the Luminar family. It is not a replacement to Luminar AI. This doesn't make Luminar AI go away. Uh, this is a next level editor um, with more complexity and it adds a lot of features that Luminar AI users missed when they transitioned from Luminar 4 to AI. So think of this as an advanced image editor. I think that might be a good way of putting it um, with Luminar AI now becoming a more basic image editor in the Luminar family. So three products will still exist, Luminar 4, which still in fact does exist, Luminar AI, which will continue to get um, bug fixes, maintenance releases, uh, things of that nature, and then the new Luminar Neo, which is the next level editor for more advanced users. So Luminar AI being now positioned for more basic users, and those who have more advanced needs, Luminar Neo. So what does it do? Well, let's see. The press release says that we can transform photos with new relighting options. Uh, Neo will analyze each image to recognize depth of a scene and its subject, which allows precise control over exposure and tone. Remove blemishes and distracting elements. Luminar Neo automatically recognizes and removes artifacts caused by a dirty camera sensor or lens. New tools making removing unwanted background elements easier than ever before. Powerful background replacement. Take full control of the background for portrait photos by quickly replacing it with an all new image or background. Note there, image or background, meaning you could bring a second photo into the photo that you're currently working on which takes us to that never asked for feature layers, right? So round trip mobile image management, which sounds like a very welcome feature. A new companion mobile app makes it simple to add pictures captured on a mobile device to your Luminar catalog. Once edited in Neo, results can be sent back to the mobile device for easy social sharing or viewing on the go. A precise control with flexible editing um, let's see what else. AI driven compositing. Okay, so smart AI based masking easily isolates elements in individual images. Add numerous images as layers to create entirely new art. Now, I'm also told that you can op open multiple raw files as layers, you could open textures, um, etc., using these layers. So, that's certainly uh, a welcome and advanced feature. Apply any tool and any mask to any layer in any order multiple times. So one of the things about Luminar AI, Luminar AI was designed to be simple 
But one of the drawbacks was that certain tools had to be used in certain orders. And once you use those tools, you weren't able to use other tools. Sometimes you would apply an effect and see that other tools had become grayed out. So with this new Luminar Neo program, um, you can use any tool at any time in any step of the process. You can add it to a layer in any order and you can use the same tool multiple times. So think of like um, AI Sky, uh, when you use the objects, you place an object in the sky, you can only do it once, right? You can't do it a second time. If you wanted to add a second object into the sky, you can't, you'd have to export the photo, re-import it and start again, right? So using layers now, multiple tools, multiple times in any order. That's really a, a very welcome feature. Use creative blending modes guided by AI to achieve clean, precise composites. So you can save photos as presets for reuse. Editing steps remain editable for complete control over the final image, which would imply also that there is a history feature. Uh, minimalist user interface, the uh, whole process is enjoyable and easy. Now, one of the things that has uh, also driven the production of this tool, new tool is being that it is now no longer a step-by-step -step process, it has a new editing image engine, and that makes it possible to apply tools without any significant performance loss, according to Skylum. So they're saying Neo allows for complex layering of several raw images, and uh, Skylum is able to further optimize and refine the entire imaging process. Okay, so what I am told is that when applying updates and corrections um, and making changes in this new Neo program, uh, Neo will manage better memory usage um, in AI. One of the reasons why some users had performance issues was that every time you made a change in AI, you consume more memory and some users suffered uh, a degradation of um, speed and, and ease of use, which is apparently managed with this new image editing editor. <clears throat> so let me just take a look at my notes, make sure I didn't miss anything that wasn't covered by that press release. So it's an, an image editor driven by AI. Uh, we can remove and replace portrait backgrounds, layers from composites, that's fantastic. Uh, high performance for complex creative tasks. Again, no set of order to tools. Uh, you can use the same tool twice, layers, better use of memory. Um, so this uh, program also adds the ability for Skylum to add more tools to it in the future. Uh, you'll be able to use textures, overlays, and multiple raw images in layers. And uh, it builds upon AI and it adds more. Now, a couple of drawbacks. Uh, it cannot exchange data from Luminar AI to Luminar Neo because, again, the engines are different. This was the same situation that we saw with Luminar 4. So what we have is your catalog, for example, from Luminar AI is not going to be imported into Neo because of the different engine. What you would need to do is export photos that you would want to work on in Neo. Um, you can run on the same computer, both Neo and Luminar AI. That's not a problem. And of course, uh, we have a pre-sale. So the pre-sale runs until September 19th. If you own a Skylum app, you're going to get Neo for the lowest possible price right now, $34 for one seat, $49 for two seats. And then it's $63 or $88 respectively. Uh, if you want to bundle that with Luminar AI. Now, I know that some of you, uh, many of you maybe, are, are going to be upset by this announcement and feel like these are things that should have been built into Luminar AI. And maybe, you know, you're entitled to feel, obviously you're entitled to feel however the way you feel. And of course, Skylum is entitled to make whatever products they, they, they want to make, however, and whenever they want to make them, right? So um, all I can tell you is the way that 
Skylon positions this and probably the best way to look at it is let's look at it in the Photoshop family, right? The Adobe family. Adobe has Lightroom, Adobe has Photoshop. Not every feature of Photoshop is in Lightroom and not every feature of Lightroom transitions smoothly into Photoshop. You know, Lightroom is for quicker edits, although it has a vast amount of complexity and Photoshop is for, you know, many people use it for the heavy lifting. Okay, I know I operate that way in my photography business. I use Lightroom to correct the majority of my images, but when the heavy lifting rolls around, I go to Photoshop, or if I want to composite, I go to Photoshop. And this is similar. So Luminar AI is going to have the basic functionality. Luminar Neo is going to have more of the advanced features for users that want to take their editing a step forward beyond what AI can do. So AI is going to still give you that quick experience. We're still going to have support for new cameras, operating system updates, maybe stability and speed enhancements, etc. But Neo will have that next level stuff with layers and it's more of a modular design where they'll be able to add more tools to it without the concern of memory degradation and, and things like that. So that's the way it is being positioned and, and I kind of agree with that approach. Um, hopefully you agree with that as well. And of course it's obviously everyone's personal decision as to whether or not something more next level like Neo is right for them or if you're comfortable on Luminar AI or maybe you want to use both and you know all of those options are are okay so hey listen so that's the way it is from Skylum uh, this is what Neo is about and I hope you find this helpful and if you did leave me a comment and let me know what you think about Luminar Neo you think this is a good idea um, how do you feel if you're a Luminar AI user uh, do you feel that this is the right step or do you think maybe these are things that should have been corrected with AI? Um, again, I, I think maybe having uh, two separate programs personally, I think is the right way of doing it because, hey, listen, if Adobe can have Lightroom, Photoshop, Photoshop Express, etc., cetera, um, certainly Skylum can have uh, different layers of applications. So, hey, but I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let me know, as always. Thanks for watching. I appreciate you. Um, if this is helpful, please consider subscribing. Thank you, YouTube. See you soon. Bye-bye.